Hello, welcome to this video on refraction. Here we have a source of light. This source is emitting red light and you can see that the light travels in a straight line. Okay, So the light here is traveling through air. Let's consider what would happen if the light travels through air and then what it what would happen if it then traveled into water? So let me change this area here into water. What do you notice? You should notice that the light no longer travels in a straight line. You can see that when the light reaches the water, it then bends like this. What would happen if we changed the water into glass? Let's find out. You see, the light is bent even more. This is called refraction. Refraction happens when light travels from one substance or medium into another substance or medium. So for example we have here light traveling from air into glass and the light bends or refracts because the glass is more optically dense than the air and because the glass is optically denser than the air the light slows down when it enters the glass and that's why the light bends so let's look at some definitions in refraction. So we have here air and down here this substance is glass. This line here is called the normal. It's called the normal because it is at 90 degrees to the boundary between the air and glass. The angle that the light ray makes with the normal here is called I. I stands for the angle of incidence. The angle that the ray makes as it bends in the glass 
with the normal is given the letter R and R stands for the angle of refraction this angle here between the the ray that travels inside the glass and the original direction of the ray this angle is called delta let me write that again so this may be a new letter for you it is actually a Greek letter so this letter is pronounced or is called delta and delta is simply here equal to the angle of incidence minus the angle of refraction thank you for listening